Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about extracting characters from the end of a string. In this case we have a small uh, pizza patent data set from Spasnet and we have a publication number and at the very end of this, these publication numbers we have some brackets and a code that's known as the kind code. Now this kind code uh, tells us what kind of patent document we're dealing with. So in the case of Korea and kind code U, uh, it's also the case in many other countries, we have a utility model. In the case of A1, we have the publication, the first publication of a patent application. Uh, I'm guessing that the A will be something similar for Korea. The same is true for the US and so on and so forth. Uh, I have no idea what uh, Portugal's kind code E means, since it doesn't appear on our list I can find, but this is really useful information and at a certain point we can actually start to work out whether we have uh, a patent application or a patent grant. So how do we actually extract this information? Now, there are actually at least two ways of doing this uh, in Excel. First thing is to just add in a few columns uh, to keep our data over on this side uh, safe. Uh, we'll call uh, We'll just use this as our working column and we can start off by using the uh, write function uh, on our source file here that's b2 and then we can give it the number of characters to extract and so we'll just put three in for the time being so we put in three and that all looks fine but let's have a look at what happens further down here is that in this cell here, we actually have uh, four characters rather than um, three characters. So uh, since I can't find a way to make this mix uh, in the formula, uh, a way of cheating uh, for the sp sake of speed would simply be to add in four. So, and then drag this down And then we now have a complete set of kind codes. We're ignoring this one here. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, but we have some trailing uh, white space. So the question becomes, how do we deal with the trailing white space? Bearing in mind, we're working in formulas. So the answer is in this next column, we will put the word trim. And close that bracket to make it work properly. All of a sudden we've trimmed, we'll drag that down. And okay, now we have a nice clean uh, list of kind codes with the brackets, of course. Uh, but again, we're dealing with formulas. So this is not a value. This is a formula that's in this cell. So if we deleted this column here, uh, that would then uh, throw an error for us saying it doesn't know where the value is. So what we need to do is simply copy that column and then we will uh, paste whoop, when Excel decides to cooperate. We will paste special and we will choose values. So we now, if we just check in the formula bar, have a set of values. So we will delete this column safely and we'll call this kind code. And there we have it. We have a column with a set of kind codes. Now I'm going to show you uh, the other way of doing this. Now that would be to select this column here, move over to data and move to text to columns. Now this causes a couple of problems, which is why I haven't gone down this route. Now, if we just move this out of the way. Now we've got a number of choices of where to split uh, the column. So we could, just to show you, we choose the bracket, although that is not the best option. In the preview here, we can see that what Excel actually does is deletes that first bracket and actually we want to keep that bracket. So a better option for us is to actually move that out of the way, is to use space. And so in the preview here, we can see um, that we have uh, the complete uh, brackets. And we'll just finish on that. But here we go. 
there's already data here, do you want to replace it? And that problem is created by the existence of that column. Uh, but there's another issue here as well, which I'll just show you, which is where we actually had two publication numbers, which I've been ignoring uh, in uh, this cell down here. So if we don't create quite a lot of cells over here, uh, that will move into our actual data. A second issue, of course, is that now the uh, kind code has moved out of the publication number field. So in my view, a better solution is to use uh, the uh, write method followed by trim. Okay, thanks very much.